Okay, today we are going to be looking at the anatomy of turtles. And this is a slider turtle, uh, which is not native to California, and so it's been preserved. We can tell this by the stiffness and the fact that I see some uh, this blue latex, this blue rubber, that's been injected into the veins, and so we'll be able to see that once we get into it. Uh, we know what turtles are. And we know that they have this shell that surrounds their body. The top part of the shell is called the carapace. And the belly part of the shell is called the plastron. If we're looking at the carapace, uh, individual scutes, which I can see clearly outlined, the scales, if you will, of the shell. Uh, the scutes have individual names. And so, for example, all these scutes along here are all called the vertebral scutes. Around the edge, this very, I'm going to slide it this way, this little tiny scute right here, see this little rectangle? This one right here is called the neutral scute. And then around each side, going around the margin, are known as the marginal scutes. In between the marginal scutes, and the vertebral scutes are the costal scutes, and they go on each side. And this is the dorsal surface. Okay, Anterior for the head, posterior at the tail. We flip our little turtle over, and we see the plastron. Okay, The plastron also has individual scutes on it and taking them in order from anterior to posterior. The anterior plastron scute is called the gular, and then the humeral, pectoral, and they're the same on both sides. So this is the pectoral and this is the pectoral. Abdominal, femoral, and anal. Okay. Looking, all I have them out here, this is the ventral side. So looking at the ventral side, I can see it's got a nice tail, and there is an opening right there. That is actually the cloacal opening, or cloaca. Uh, your textbook says anal opening. That's okay, but the anus is a little bit different than the cloaca. The cloaca is a common opening. They have just one opening for all waste, solid, liquid, and reproductive. I'll go through there. I can see their forelimbs and their hind limbs, and each of their limbs, I'm going to turn them back over again. And I can look a little closer here. Is that in focus? Yeah, let me turn the light on right here. Uh, it's a little too much contrast. Sorry about that. I'll, that'll work better with the head. Uh, I can at least see that each digit has a claw and that the toes are webbed. Let's take a look at the back feet I can really see. Ah, uh, yes, I got some good claws. This toe happens to be, yep, is missing. Right on each side, sometimes I go, oh, did, did one just get cut off? Nope, that one's missing. And then I have one, two, three claws, one, two, three claws, webbing between the toes or the digits on the hind legs. This particular specimen happens to be a female. And I know that because, well, the claws seem regular length. They don't seem super long. And this plastron is flat. There's no dish or divot to it. It's flat across. Okay, so this is a female, and we'll confirm that when we cut her open. All right, what else? Well, we do have the head. Okay, so now let's focus in on her head. And I will turn the light on that. All right, so when we're looking at the head, yep, that's good. I can see that there are eyelids that cover the eye. So the eye is underneath, and that this is the bottom eyelid, and that's the top eyelid. And I don't know if I can see on this specimen. Okay, don't get squeamish on me. Uh, there is what's called a nictating membrane. And, hello. The nictating membrane is the third eyelid, and I can usually find it in the corner of the eye. I'm not able to pull it up. But it's right here in the corner of the eye. So eyelids, nictating membrane, and then the eye. Well, I have it in this view, I can see that the mouth has these horny beaks. The opening is the mouth, and since it's preserved, oh, 
all the muscles are hard. And so the horny beaks protect the mouth. And then we have the nose, the external nares. Oh, I can show that to you. Maybe. Oh, and I have to move the whole camera. <laughs> it's all, I can see it. Can you see it? Ah, oh, yeah, you can see it right there. So those two little openings right there, that's the external nares. Okay, or opening into the nasal cavity.